Time to play with some clay. Well, I'm in my robe. I just got out of the shower. I have came up with, I think, a, hopefully, a brilliant idea for a sculpture, my next project. I'm thinking of having a warrior who's come across a sea chest or a, a, an immigrant's chest on the prairie, and he's been going through it. So clothes are strewn out from it and hanging off the uh, the, the uh, chest, and uh, he's now sitting on the uh, chest. He's found a mirror, hand mirror inside, and he's admiring himself. Well, I'd like to put a real mirror in that uh, hand mirror, and I'm trying to figure out how I can do that in bronze so that uh, the uh, client, uh, when they purchase the bronze, they have a different view of that man's face as he admires himself. Um, I've been doing some research on uh, the trunks, uh, let me see what they call them, steamer trunks. Uh, a lot of these uh, people came from Europe um, and got into wagon trains. They had no clue what they were getting themselves into, so they brought everything they owned. Let me get my glasses off so I'm not reflecting the light. Uh, sorry, I'm trying to look up what I'm looking at here. I better put my glasses back on because I can't see without them. Uh... I'm looking at an 1870s, no, not that one. I think it's an 1880s, yeah. It's an 1880s steamer trunk. Um, and it would be just the type of thing that they'd load up all their valuables or their clothing and items like that into. But these things can be really heavy. I remember when I was a kid, when we traveled to Guam um, in the mid 50s, my mom and dad, my dad was stationed over there already. We were just going over there to meet him. We had to go on a, a uh, transport ship, the uh, U.S. Barrett. I can't remember this designation, it's been too many years. But it was the, the Barrett. I think you can look it up on uh, Google and find pictures of the uh, Barrett. In fact, I'll put a video up here showing that ship. I, I did some searching about that because I was curious if there was any film on it. Anyway, um, we were in a very tight cabin with my brother and my sister who was a brand new baby and my mom and uh, she had to kind of ride herd on all three of us and try to keep from being seasick and try to get us ready to do uh, emergency drills where we had to put life vests on cork life vests on and uh, we spent two weeks on the ocean <clears throat> but we had all our clothing and everything in a big sea chest, or a big chest. And believe me, that thing was heavy. Uh, well, out of the prairie, the pioneers found out real quickly that uh, they couldn't bring everything they needed or wanted. They couldn't bring all their treasures. They had to leave them on the prairie. And one of the things that they would have left would have been a heavy chest full of clothing and beauty products and whatever else might be in it. Well, that's the idea that I came up with for this 
sculpture. Now, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it or not yet. Um, like I said, I ordered uh, some small uh, mirrors, little round metal backed mirrors from uh, a company called from a company called Crazy Crow Trading Post. And uh, I'm waiting for those that that to get here. I ordered three of the mirrors just to so I can experiment with them because I want to do a handheld mirror, and I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to do that in his hand and uh, with the mirror uh, insert that can be placed in glued onto the uh, bronze to uh, give that mirror look. I was thinking of another idea of a warrior. Uh, from a photo shoot I had back in 2004 with a uh, gentleman by the name of Michael Badhand. And uh, he uh, recreates authentic, and I mean down to the stitching, uh, the sinew stitching, authentic leather, brain tanned leather clothing. Uh, you would not be able to tell the difference between what he makes and what's in a museum, if they even can find one like that in a museum. Uh, he's standing there with a uh, long flintlock rifle with uh, brass tacks on it. I was thinking of that one first. I, I, it, I just was laying in bed yesterday and morning and I had this idea pop into my head to have this warrior admiring himself on the prairie. And then this, this morning, I got the idea for doing the uh, sea chest. So that's what I've been doing, doing research. Uh, I want to get the uh, scaling right. The um, chest in real life would have been something like 33 inches long by 21 deep. That's uh, yeah, that's from the ground up to the top of the lid. And, oh, that's, no, that's 19. Uh, 21 deep would be as wide. Uh, long, wide is 19. And, uh, let me do this again. <laughs> it would be 33 inches long by 21 inches wide by 21, or by 19 inches tall. And uh, I've been using my small measuring tape to see if that's feasible for what I'm looking to do, and it is. Now I just gotta figure out uh, the mirrors are gonna be two and a half inches in diameter, and um, I'm gonna have to make those fit into a handheld mirror, and I don't want the handheld mirror to be bigger than usual. And, and I got to scale the, the warrior to the size of the mirror. I know it sounds confusing, and, and right now I am confused, but I'm going to take a, the rest of the week and do my uh, researching on the uh, trunk. Uh, I got to figure out how I'm going to do the trunk. And uh, I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to make it out of wood and then put clay on top of the wood. All right, that's, uh, that's it. That's going to be it for today. And I'm sorry I'm not playing with clay right now, but uh, this is something I have to do. I have to lay the groundwork before I can do the uh, project. And so, and I think it's going to be an interesting one. All right, everybody. <laughs> have a great night. I'm going to go get dressed and get on with the day. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.